Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Genuine Christianity. My name is Israel. Uh, basically in this episode I'm very emotional and uh, forgive me if my, if my voice sounds shaky in any way. I just lost my mom and I would like to uh, speak a little bit about it. Um, I grew up knowing my mom to be a very strong and independent lady who was able to give birth and train five boys. I grew up in a very peaceful and uh, welcoming home. She was always there for us. Throughout our days in school, out of school, uh, we never knew what it means to say someone lacked a team because uh, we had a strong mind. She was not just sacrificial, she was a sacrifice herself. She was ready to give her all for anyone. She was a giver and she was a prayer warrior. Uh, for about 30 years of my life, knowing my mom, she never slept in a house three days in a week. Every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, she was always praying. Like she was having vigil for 30 years of my life. And um, a few years back, uh, she started suffering from arthritis. And after that, led to one sickness to the other. And on the 13th of March, 2022, she gave up the ghost. And uh, that made me understand that life is inevitable. Uh, just as David told Solomon when he was leaving the earth, he said, uh, he called Solomon, my son, I go the way of all the earth. What does that mean? Every man will face death. Every woman will face death. Death is something that joins everyone together. Uh, it, might, it, it might seem uh, like a sad or a bad thing to certain people, but in my opinion, I think death is the main escape from the sufferings from the worries and from the troubles of this world. If I'd been told that my mom was going to die this year, 2022, I wouldn't have believed it. Uh, I remember after I saw her remains at the hospital, I asked myself a question. So I don't have a mother anymore. A lot of thoughts ran through my head, like what, what next from the air, what do I do next, how do I fulfill all the promises I made to her, but I can't anymore, and it has dawned on me. I could remember when we were doing a service of songs, just recently. Uh, people were called up to give uh, testimonies about her and everyone said something good about her. Now on earth, it is the life you live that matters. When you leave this world, if you are good, people will remember you for your good. If you are bad, people will remember you for the bad things you did. Just like Apostle Paul said, to live is for Christ and to die is gain. Uh, but I know one thing, the death of the righteous is not a loss, it's a win. It means heaven gain. And when heaven gains, everyone gain. At first, I was filled with sadness, sorrow, I was filled with pain. I was filled with anger, but at a point I got to understand that you can't question God. He knows best. 
he knows why he took her at this point in time. I remember asking Dirt a question. I was like, Dirt, why do you sting the wrong people? And I could remember asking somebody a question. Why is it that uh, Dirt don't take the bad ones? It only, it only takes the good ones. And the person replied with a question. I was saying it in pigeon, this way, the way the person said it. The person was like, if now you be dead, you would like to chop something you bad. But death is inevitable. And I would like to encourage everyone, the life you live here on earth matters. Live good. So when you go, you will be remembered for the good you need. And lastly, I would like to say this. Um, we all will face this one day. I just hope you are ready for what death brings your way. Uh, in some other episode, I I will be talking about the lessons I've learned from the death of my mother. Uh, stay tuned. This is TJ New Christian Living. Don't forget to. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, we promise to bring out our best. Thank you. We love you. Bye.